Those against the 4%, please show the ayes have it. The motion now 4% of the ballots cast in each category. Right. Um, back to the main motion. Speech against. Anyone wish to speak against? Cliff. Mr. Chairman, I'm still Cliff Dunn. I believe that aside from the several of the fan categories, the single-digit nomination issue is primarily an artifact at this point of the uh, retro Hugos, which, let's face it, have far fewer nominations in general than do the uh, main Hugos. I also think that with the nature of EPH being after a fashion a runoff system, it is valuable to have at least the last handful of rounds regardless of the numbers involved simply so we can see how those final distributions took place. And I would finally note that the 5% element, I believe, was more or less repealed separate from EPH in the form of the 5% solution, although they occurred at about the same time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Speech in favor, Ben. Ben Yallo. It's not just the fan you goes. It shows up all over the place in the retros, for example. If we take a look at best editor, which certainly is not a minor category, this year we had John Campbell with 75 nominations. The number two was Dorothy McElwraith with eight. And by the time you get down to the eighth place editor, not the 15th, the eighth place editor, we're looking at Alden Norton four. Thank you. Time four has expired. Does anybody wish to speak against? 15 seconds against. You have 15 seconds. I, have an, I move to amend the proposal to, to strike out 4% 4 per, 4 of the ballots in, in both places where it appears and insert in, in lieu thereof not not nine, ball nine ballots. Please state your name. Mar uh, Martin Pine, QINE. Is there a second for that? Uh, I make the the objection raises that we're reporting single single ballot number single digit ballot numbers. This amendment would say you don't have to report single ba digit ballot numbers. Judy, are you seconding? I, I move that we extend debate. Yep. Excuse me, Martin. Can you bring me the the motion? The motion is to strike 5% and insert 9. Insert 9%? 9 ballots. 9 ballots. 4%. 4%. 4%. 4%. Sorry, it's 4% at the moment. 4% and insert 9 ballots. 9 ballots. Okay. 5% of the is replaced by 9. Yeah. 4%. Yeah. Right. I, I believe it's replacing the words 5% of the, that those three tokens are and replaced by 9. To clarify, yeah. you want it to be fewer than 9 ballots, not 9 ballots or fewer? Fewer. Fewer uh, than, uh, fewer than 10 ballots. It still says at least, right. Okay. I ask unanimous consent to modify my amendment to state fewer than 10 ballots. Yeah. yeah. Good. Right, we have a motion to extend debate times. By how much? Two minutes. Side. Four minutes. Right, <laughs> we motion to extend debate time by four minutes total. Those in favor of extending debate time, please show. Plenty. Those against extending debate time? Fewer. Debate time is extended. Another two minutes on each side, please, Paul. Right. We have an amendment to strike 5% 4 of the and insert 10. No, fewer uh, than 10. Fewer than 10. Yeah. Fewer than is still there. It replaces 5% of the with 10. It's different in, different in the two different places. Yeah, we can okay. fix it up. Yes. yes. <laughs> Right, speech against putting a uh, firm number in and leaving. Dr. Perianne. Uh, 
I am Perianne Lurie, that's P-E-R-R-I-A-N-N-E-L-U-R-I-E. -E. Um, I think 10 is a totally arbitrary number uh, because we're using base 10, but that doesn't make any sense to me. The percentage of the total number of ballots makes a lot more sense to me because it, it, it indicates how many people actually nominated in that category. Thank you. Speech in favor of moving to 10 ballots? Speech against? Move up. Ah. Elspeth? Um, I think using 10 ballots actually does give a better idea of how many nominations there were. Um, a percentage can be any number, whereas saying 10 ballots clarifies to people that we are not deliberately excluding um, the, the bottom percentage. It's just not worth going below 10 ballots. And so I think this is easier to understand and less controversial just to go to the number of ballots. Thank you. Speech in favor. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yep. Yes. <laughs> Point of information Maybe. from Maybe. Gary Blog. Point of information from either Dave McCarty or any other Hugo administrator. How often on the final ballots are there the, 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 you know, the, the who makes the final ballot? Is it 10 or fewer? You know, they, they, to get, they, they are on the final ballot, but they've gotten less than 10 nominations. Yeah, that is debate. No, I am. Yes, it, it is. Not, that is mm. debate, Mr. Chairman. You are not allowed to, to ask questions randomly unless you're using your debate time. Charles that was Ford. Kevin Stanley. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, that should be charged. Does anyone need Which Kevin's point repeated? Four against four, I think. All right. Anybody wish to speak uh, either to Gary's inquiry or uh, to uh, against the motion to go to 10? Right. Donald, this is Donald Eastlake. I just wanted to point out that this is still at the option of the administrator. So, you know, if the uh, uh, threshold is a little higher, then uh, the administrator is not required to, to omit these from the reports. Uh, so I think it's going with 4% is the best way. Thank you. Anyone wish to speak in favor of 10? Joshua at the back. So two things. Uh, one, as the long tail gets longer, um, the, uh, the numbers involved uh, get larger, but the kinds of things we're ignoring and how significant they are get, um, also get um, bigger. And therefore, having a specific number um, rather than a percentage allows us to not be so, e so easily and quickly um, ignore people on the long tail that are still double digit numbers. And the other thing is that literally the objection is that um, we are putting things that only have a handful of votes. A hand. Ten is what our hands hold. Thank you. Uh, speech against ten. Dave. If people look at the his my name is Dave McCarty. If uh, people pour through the history of the awards in the HugoAwards.org and look at the statistics that have been released year by year, you'll see that our participation varies from year to year and by category and category. Um, I think putting a hard number in does not serve well. I think a percentage is the better way to go. Um, however, I. I, while I am um, asking to put in the ability to limit by a percentage, I will also say this, that I'm asking this as an administrator who is all, 
always reported more than was required. I always show things that go beyond the limit. I just think that we need to trust the administrators to find a point where it makes sense to stop if things get very small. The speech in favor of going to 10, 